I started driving cars at the age of about 10. I lived in a town called Sidra in, in Libya. It's a very rural area. My family lived in a farm. This is where they basically made their living from. I inherited a car from my brother, a, a Peugeot a, a pickup truck. My brother and I used to sell produce to the market in that pickup truck. That Peugeot had quite a few problems. Many times we had to stop on the side of the road fixing that pickup truck because we go from town to town. We didn't have access to spare parts for the cars. So I started to think of, of ways how I make my own rotor. So I was able to successfully fix starters in a car, including in the engine itself, steering wheels, and, uh, 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 and so on. It started from there. I was fascinated by electricity. Today, I'm an electrical engineer. I'm an electromagnetic engineer by education. I grew up in a family where, you know, we didn't have access to many things. And you have to, you know, find ways to, for example, enhance your education. There's so many opportunities. You can be a software engineer to improve the connectivity of a vehicle. You can be a hardware engineer, or you can be a technician to build parts, assemble them beautifully to put them in a product. As an engineer, you need to know how stuff work in the real world, not just on the computer, because eventually we don't sell simulation, we sell product. That vehicle is going to customer's hands, so you have to experience it. Once you realize that you have passion for something, your dream is to achieve something, that's how you get self-motivated. If you say that you can do it and you want to do it, you will do it. Nothing is, is really should be in your way to say that, no, I'm, I'm, I'm less than that or, or I'm inferior to that. I shouldn't call myself a car guy. I'm more like a nerd who likes to understand how cars work. I really started to think of a career in the automobile industry when the electrical car revolution starts. We are making less pollution to the environment and we are making a very desirable product that will improve and help and accelerate the adoption of electrical mobility. Electrical cars are going to prevail and I'm not saying it's going to happen today. They will be very soon prevalent in the market because of their true inherent advantages. You feel that sense of accomplishment, a sense of, you know, contribution to this world. Think about that. Being less selfish, being more giving, that's what, you know, that success, that's, that's what actually you feel, you know, very much proud of.